One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Yeah, so the rant of the week is, is about the perfect trade. The perfect trade, guys, it, it, it's really, it's really going to fuck you. Like, it's going to fuck you really hard because the perfect trade doesn't exist, obviously, right? And so, like, the perfect trade has so much negative side effects when, when it comes to, like, just trading in general, right? But there's basically no such thing as a perfect trade, guys. And what would a perfect trade really consist of, right? Like, what would it really be? Like, would it be the perfect entry the per and the perfect exit? Like, literally top fill, top bottom, you know, top fill uh, and bottom cover, right? I, the, the problem with that is, guys, you guys are always going to say that you could have been bigger, right? You're always going to say that, like, well, like, it was a solid trade, but I was only in 500 shares. <laughs> See, there's no winning with some, of, with, with some of you guys. There's literally no winning. The thing is that there will always be that. That will always be present. Is that the, you can always say, I could have been bigger. No matter what, like, if you start trading 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000, you are always going to say, um, I could have been bigger or whatever, or like, I didn't get right. I didn't get full, whatever it is. Like there will never, ever be a satisfaction as far as comes to, when it comes to size. And so that's why you guys judge a trade just because it wasn't perfect. The only thing that you can judge your trade on is how well you followed, you know, your plan and your idea on it. And did you keep your risk in control? Right you have to learn how to be satisfied on your trades. You know, if you're, you know, you will never be satisfied um, at all with any trade you take, no matter what. Bao, Bao says this too, but really it's, it's really true. You'll never be satisfied. There will always be something, whether it's, but it stopped me out first and, and then I got back in or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Like there will always be something that pushes you to, to, to dog your trade. Right. If you're never satisfied, that means that you'll constantly push and push and push yourself towards this, this kind of perfect trade. This you're, you're trying to push yourself for the satisfaction when you could already have it on a solid trade. And that really helps your mindset. But despite this kind of neg this negativity, like affecting your day to day psyche, you know, when you constantly negatively evaluate your trades, you know, that first of all, that helps you never to be able to move on because you always think of like what could have happened or what should have happened or, you know, where your account might be if, or whatever it is, despite all of that stuff, the fact of the, the pursuit of the perfect trade is why you're never, why you're never able to place a goddamn trade, right? Like, and this is probably the worst for newer traders. Like when you are looking for that perfect trade, just that, 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 that pursuit of it is means that you're constantly judging every single setup in front of you as, is this perfect? Do I take it? No. Is this perfect? Do I take it? No. I can't determine why this is perfect so, or how this is perfect. So that means I can't take this trade. Like I can't figure out the exact price to short it. You know, like whatever you're doing to, to kind of dissuade yourself from taking this trade, that's why, you know, this pursuit of the perfect trade is why that trigger is just, is so heavy, right? That's why it's too hard to pull. That's why you can't seem to find the spot to short it because you're looking for the perfect spot to short it. And I, I fall into this too sometimes. Sometimes I just ask myself, is it going to be higher or, or lower? Is it going to be lower than this? Do I think it's going to be lower than this? Well, that means it is a short here, right? That means I think it is a short here. Now, do I think it's the perfect short? I don't know. The thing is, you won't know, right? You're never going to know what's perfect until at the end, right? So you just have to, you know, follow your plan and um, stop trying to make the trade perfect. Because when you look to make a perfect trade, because it doesn't exist, the trade, however, it's not going to be perfect. But what it, however close to perfect it is, it's going to pass you by. And you are going to sit there frustrated that you didn't act um, because you couldn't decide what was perfect or what was best possible, right? Or what trade made it so that you didn't, the trade didn't go against you at all, right? Whatever it is, right? That's why that trigger is so heavy to pull because you can't seem to find it. Dude, you're going to be here for, you're going to be here for 10 years, not knowing 
where the exact level is to pull that trigger. So predetermine it in a plan. Say, I think this is good. When the stock gets there, you pull the trigger. It's not going to be perfect, but you're probably not going to get the top. My name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in the MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Let me tell you guys, getting the top, normally when you get the top, it means that you got like not full size or you got a, a, a partial trade and it sucks. You want to get like, it's nice to get the top. It really helps the average if you get the top on some of it and then you add on a pop and that's the way trades normally go. Like you're never going to have, you're never going to have a top average ever, like ever. Like if you get, if you have a top average, that's going to be a small position. I promise. I've never, ever, 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 ever had, ever had the top average on full size, ever. I've gotten close, like, you know, on stuffs. Stuffs are the closest when you, like, short up into a stuff, which is getting a lot more dangerous now than it used to be because it used to just be bread and butter. They stuff and they die, and that's not the case anymore. Yeah, like, it's and, – and still, it wasn't the exact top because you slammed and added it lower. Like, so – Still, like, stop trying to get the top. Stop trying to make the trade literally perfect. Imagine trying to, imagine um, trying to, you know, take a shot, but you're, you're trying to make sure the shot's perfect before you take it. You're going to find something wrong with your elbow. You're going to find something wrong with your foot position. You're going to be like, oh, crap, I didn't breathe correctly on that, you know, on that, on that shot. Or, you know, how, you know, are my, are my feet separated to the right distance? All this shit. Like, you're never going to take the fucking shot. So, that pursuit of the perfect trade is really killing, killing your, just your day-to-day -day mentality. Most trades aren't going to set up perfectly anyway. And, you know, like, and here's the, here's the funny thing. When trades finally do are, trades finally are perfect. And I don't even call them perfect. The, what I call a perfect trade, like, uh, if, if you hear me refer to something as a textbook trade or a classic trade, to me, that's kind of my lingo for the trade was perfect. Meaning the trade was by the book it was it may not have been it may not have been like necessarily perfect but it it, it did everything it was supposed to do in the time that, like basically that's as close to perfect as like my lingo gets like i'm never going to say there's a perfect trade there's textbook trades and for me those are like as close to perfect as it's going to get but finally guys you you can't compare your entries to anybody else and i used to i used to have the biggest problem whether it be like with a tab or whether it would be with um, on Twitter, whether I would see if somebody had a better average than me, I would shut down because I knew that what I was get, the trade I was taking would be subpar. Right. And that, to me, that's, that's all I saw. It's like, anytime I had a lower, anytime that someone told me what their average was or, or some, you know, I saw someone have a short on it on Twitter. Like Bow used to be the fucking worst of this shit. Like, that would always ruin shit for me. Like when he would post his fills on Twitter, the thing is, is like, I would be like, the stock would like pop up. And like, there was a time where Bally used to post his fills on Twitter all the fucking time. And like, just the fills, I would like, like be there looking at Twitter, looking at the stock and like the stock would fall and Bow would post his chart or not his chart, but his fills showing that he shorted the top. And all, of, all I could think about was smarter money shorted the top smarter money shorted the top smarter money shorted the top i can't i can't short it here and and it fu like fucked me up for a while before i had to just shut everything off and just trade me you can't compare your entries to anybody else your lower entries could actually be better than the than the higher ones that your friends or someone you see on twitter might have um you can only compare your entries to you know the risk that you knew that you were taking the reward that you're going to get in relation to that risk and your probability um, of your trade working, of your entry working out. All right, that's the only thing you can really compare your interest to. Anything else is just sh anything else is a shit above the you know ab ab above the shoulders mustard shit. You know to to quote you know to quote the movie. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.